How's it going guys and welcome to the ninth online battle. I'm facing a guy called Woyo Sensei PL. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the rest of his name. Because it's just a bunch of letters and numbers, or maybe it means something, but I don't know what it means. So anyway. My army consists of uh four Katana Samurai, two Yari Calvary, two Lone Sword Ashigaru. By the way, why didn't you guys tell me I was pronouncing that wrong? <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway. Oh yeah, two Lone Sword Ashigaru, four Matchlock Ashigaru, and two Nodachi Samurai, and two Yari Ashigaru. And that's what my army consists of. Obviously, my uh, unit's already orange, my enemy is the blue and red. So yeah, this is pretty much the boring part of the match where we all start marching up the hill. Because the enemy's on the other side, as you can see. Oh, and here's a micro fail for you. I, uh, on the left side, I ended up sending my, one of my Yari Ashigaru, one of my Nodachi Samurai to the far left. <laughs> I didn't even notice it until later in the battle when they were way back there. I was like, what the hell? But oh well. So yeah, he rushes up the hill with his uh, bow samurai. Well, not really fully up the hill, like, you know, halfway up the hill, basically. He also brings up his cavalry, and he uh, sticks his katana samurai and lean sword ashigaru behind his bow samurai. He also, later on, he sticks some of his yari ashigaru in front of his bow samurai and he makes them go spear wall formation. He also sticks his general in the far back at the bottom of the hill to, uh, you know, keep him out of harm's way as he gives him a bonus. I don't know why he didn't just take the hill and camp there. I think he was either like allowing me to take a part of the hill so we could end up fighting on even grounds, or he just thought that like uh, I don't know he could camp there or something. I don't know what he was thinking, but oh well. Or maybe he thought I was going to camp so his samurai bowman would just take me out slowly or something. I'm not sure. But oh well. So yeah, as you can see, I'm basically just moving my units up in the position. Since I can see he's not going to move from his little position there, my whole idea is just to basically run down the hill and get the charge bonus and just, you know wipe out their weak point. Getting my Nodachi in the forest there to the right. My whole idea is to run my Nodachi to the far right and then come down and flank their Yari Ashigaru to break their flank ticks or whatever the hell it's called in this game, spear wall, whatever. And then when they're broken I'm gonna charge in with my unit. So, as you can see, he sends one unit of Nodachi towards my Katana Samurai, so I peel off a unit and I send them towards him. And since I have a uh, Drill Square and Famous Armory retainers on, my Katana Samurai just have a hellish defense, and that really hurts the hell out of his uh, Nodachi. They don't even stand a chance, really. And uh, as you can see in the back there, my Nodachi are kind of getting eaten up. So I move my general unit closer to him to ensure that that line doesn't break and I can ensure maximum damage towards those Yari Ashigaru. He also charges my matchlock Ashigaru with his two units of Yari Calvary. So basically I just send my Kitana, one of my units of Kitana Samurai into that fray and I also bring my Yari Calvary out of the forest to charge him. And that, you know, saves the day pretty much. And since I can see my Nodachi won't be able to take out that entire army by itself, I think. I send in a unit of Yari Ashigaru 
and I put them in spear wall at the last second, and they end up charging right into them, and that causes one of them to break. And since the other units see their friends breaking, they their morale starts to hurt as well. And basically it's a domino effect of one unit running after the other. He also takes his general unit and he charges right into that fray where my matchlock units were. And he inspires... Yeah, he inspires his general unit and sends them to the battle. And his big fight ensures... Bunch of chaos for that. So anyway, you won't be able to see it, but uh, as you can see on the left, right side my, on my screen, well, left side now, that whole area like died off, you know, we broke through. So I took all those units that were chasing after the ones on the right side, and I made them run around, and then now I have them charging these units you're looking at, these samurai units in the back, and that's going to cause them to rout here soon. And uh, now that they're routing, basically I just took all my units and we charged the general. And yeah, after the general routed, that was pretty much game. And you get to see two general bodyguard units get shot and they die a horrible death. It's always fun to watch people die, ain't it? But yeah, that was the end of the game. Uh, it was nice playing with Sensei and I'll see you guys later. Red power, my brothers.